άρχισε η Οδύσσια μου. Ο κουλιάδος μου, ο Ερίκος ο Σεβίλιας, ο οποίος ήταν στο Auschwitz, με τον... πέθανε με τον αριθμό. Ερίκος Σεβίλιας από την Αθήνα. Μετά, πήγαμε στο... Exposure to a temperature below freezing leads to severe soft tissue Απέλ! damage. Απέλ! So how does the body protect itself from cold? The body has the ability to maintain a core body temperature by the process of thermoregulation. During extreme cold, the body receives a signal from sensory receptors. For example, these receptors are present in the hands or the feet. These sensory receptors will respond to the cold and send a signal up to the brain. The posterior hypothalamus is responsible for regulating body temperature during exposure to cold. It is the anterior hypothalamus that responds to heat. Once the signal reaches the brain, the brain then sends a signal to the body in order to respond to the cold temperature and maintain a core body temperature. This is necessary in order to provide the vital organs with the necessary heat to function properly. The brain will send a signal to the smooth muscle cells located in the blood vessels of the skin and also the skeletal muscles. The smooth muscle cells line the arteries and the arterioles. During cold temperatures, the signal from the brain causes vasoconstriction of the arterioles in the skin, which allows the body to shift the blood to more vital areas of the body. When the temperature is at or below zero degrees Celsius, which is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the blood vessels close to the skin start to constrict, which helps to preserve the core body temperature. Another signal from the brain goes to the skeletal muscles, which quickly contracts them and causes shivering that helps to keep the body warm. As the body forces the muscles to work, it breaks down ATP that will also release energy. ATP is converted into ADP and releases free phosphate and energy to warm up the body. The condition of frostbite usually affects the hands and the feet. When the temperature drops below negative 2 Celsius, ice crystals are formed in the extracellular fluid. The water moves from the intracellular compartment into the extracellular compartment which causes cell dehydration and death.
I said to myself, how can I, how can I do it? How can I, there was a, a Polish guy there and I said, where is God?